Good morning. Today is August 25 of 2013. We are in here in Simi Valley in the house of Edgar Valdivia that is celebrating the Pitaya festival today at his home. He's going to show us all the different types of pitahayas that they can be growing here in California. This is a wonderful product and it's taking a lot of very good and it's a lot of farmers that start growing already. We started doing this project 10 years ago and then now we have in here in California around 300 acres already planted and in the beginning was only one single type of pitahaya with our white pulp and now we have at least 26 different types with all different colors and with a very good flavors. I will show you today all the different types of pitahayas that we gonna show it today to the public and you will be able to see it. Over here we have the zebra type. It's a red pitahaya, very good in flavor, you know, excellent. Has a lot of antioxidants. Remember the fruits that they have red color, they have more antioxidants. You hear, you hear Rosa is another one, red pitahaya with a very good flavor and a lot of antioxidants too. You have a San Ignacio, another different type, very well, red one too. Orejona is another type, as you can see, very well, nice, deep red. This is a Benjoa red, it's a magenta type pitahaya, very sweet, very good for the taste of the American palate. You have Valdivia Roja, it's a other one with a good flavor, produces very well, and it's a very good size for commercial purpose. Physical graffiti, another one with a magenta color, very sweet, excellent, produces well in here in California. Helix Comet, another one from the Guatemala line, pink uh, magenta color, very good sweet, good flavor. We have another one over here, El Grullo. It's a new pitaya, uh, different, and, uh, and the leaves are completely different. They have a lot of thorn, but deep, deep, deep in color. This one actually came from Mexico. El, el, the town is El Grullo, that's why they put the name Grullo. Soul Kitchen is one of the uh, white pulps, pitahaya, very good, as you can see it. Mostly people with diabetics, they decide to go into this type of white pitahaya because it has excellent, uh, not too much sugar and very good and to help in diabetics. American Beauty, another magenta color, very uh, tasty, very good. Mostly the magenta colors, they are come from the Guatemala line and they are in good flavor. Armando is a red one, it's uh, very good. You know, as when I say very good, depend of each individual. Some people they like sweets and other ones they don't. So it's up to you what type you like. That's why we have so many different types. You can taste it when you like it and then go on and plant that one. Always plant in your garden the fruit that you like to eat. Don't plant because yes, your neighbor has that particular plant and you want to do it. Yes, plant in your garden whatever it is you like to eat. And uh, then you will be eating the wonderful fruit. Remember, no pesticides, very healthy and very fresh and good taste, especially that when you just pick it up from the plant. This is the light. This one was the developed by Paul Thompson, 
that uh, it's a very good pita haya and uh, with that excellent flavor. Paul Thompson, as you know, was one of the, fa the father founders of the California of the pita haya in California, but uh, and he was a founder, co-founder of the California Rare Fruit Growers. The gentleman was so good but the problem he's already passed away but he left all the latency to a lot of people one of them is me that i've been working in pita high already for 10 years and i really develop a lot of new types lisa is another excellent pita high with a good flavor as you can see here we have a big pita high already almost with the weight of two two pounds another one this is the beautiful flower. Remember, you have in there the petals, the stigma, and the anthers. The anthers is the male part, and the stigma is the female part. Mostly the pita hyas in here in California, they are not self fertile. So you have to do cross pollination to be able to produce fruit. But we are working it now and trying to get self fertile. So with time, we're going to improve this product the most we can. You have another one beautiful, Pita Haya. Look how big it is, it's almost two pounds. This is a Vietnamese type. This is the beginning of the Pita Hayas. Actually, that the first one they, we start working with uh, almost 13 years ago, only we had the Vietnamese line, but then we started working very hard and cross-pollinating and creating new different types. And then now I will say, after 13 years, we are very successful and we are doing well. The good part is that California has a good weather to be able to tolerate, the, to grow this particular plant. Remember, pitahaya or dragon fruit, that some people they call it, is semi-tropical fruit. So you have to be careful. They don't like too much sun, not too much cold. So if you try to help to grow those things, you can grow pita higher very easy, protecting them with a shade from the sun and uh, from the from the cold weather. You can put it close to your house. Mostly of the pita higher, they can be grown in pots. 15 gallons is very good. And the only thing that you have to do is try to put sandy soil so then there's a lot of water comes out and there's no damage to the roots. Well, like I said, my name is Ed Valdivia and I've been working in Peter Hyatt for so many years and then now we have a lot of products av available in the market. We are making wonderful ice cream, we're making liquor, I mean wine of Peter Hyatt. Uh, you can use even the, the, the leaves to make in salads. The pita haya is getting into it and a lot of chefs they start doing the best to make a lot of different applications of this particular fruit. I really appreciate that you had the time to look at this small video and thanks so much. And anytime you know you want to learn more about it, you can go to Yahoo groups, go to Pitaya Fruit and you will hand get a lot of information free to you be a member of that particular group and you will get a lot of information out of that and if you want to go to my website you can go to edvaldivia.com and i have a lot of movies and a lot of information about a dollar for you thank you so much and i hope so you will get into this product and start planting in your backyard or go in production commercially it's up to you but we, you have support from a lot of people that can help you to do that and i wish you luck goodbye thank you